Good evening, everybody. Hello. I see you're early tonight. Thank you very much for being on time. Good evening. Good evening, David Alejandro. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Fine. Nice. Nice. ¿Qué tal con el Twitter ahora? Y perdón, con el Facebook y con el WhatsApp, chicos. Ajá, sufrieron. No, ¿verdad? <ríe> A ver, ¿cómo sintieron este día sin redes sociales? ¿Usan las redes sociales en su trabajo o para su trabajo? Sí las usamos. Bueno, sí. en mi caso. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué tal ahora que estuvieron así todo abajo? <ríe> Incomunicado. Ay, no, un dolor de cabeza, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Do you do home office? No, teacher. Okay. Yo sí, teacher. Okay, and do you use the social media to communicate with your company? Usa las redes sociales para estar en, en comunicación con su compañía. Sí, de hecho, este, trabajo en atención al cliente. Entonces fue un día que todos pensaban que era la, la telefonía, pero no. Yeah, it was really bad day. Yes, yes, it was. También el internet estuvo, ha estado muy intermitente, se fijaron, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, yo he tenido ese problema incluso ahorita antes de conectarme, igual bajó y después vino y ahí yo estaba preocupadísima de que, de que no íbamos a poder iniciar, pero gracias a Dios ya, ya estamos acá, ¿verdad? So let me call a roll and I'm going to take the attendance at this moment, ¿ok? I'm going to do it because we want to be on time. Yeah, you want to be punctual. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Remember to turn on your cameras and say present. Okay, say present when you listen to your names. Cecia Gemima Perez Ideos. Present, teacher. David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present, teacher. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Tell me Isabel Dera Salguero. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Okay. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Teacher, perdón, entre tarde, pero ya oh. soy acá. Ok, Alba, I'm going to check you in. One second. Um, we were with Eva Leticia. Is Eva Leticia there? No, I don't see her. Okay, Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Okay, Grecia. It's okay, it's okay, I understand. Jose Ernesto Mezquita Bautista. Juan Diego Lopez Palacios. Juan Diego, Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher, no tengo la cámara porque se me descontrola de todo el teléfono. Oh, ok, ok. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present teacher. Okay. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. 
Present teacher, present. Ok, Marco. Mayra y Anira Alfaro Posada. Mélida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Present. Okay. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. It was a mosquito, that's why I clapped, okay? <laughs> Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Patricia. No. Okay. Um, Roxana Marilyn Pérez Ortiz. Okay. Present teacher Patricia Navarro. Voy, voy. Ok, Patricia. Check your hand already. Ok, guys, how are you doing? How do you feel tonight? ¿A cuántos les pusieron su tercera dosis ya? ¿Todavía no? ¿Su segunda? ¿No? Sí, me estoy recuperando la segunda todavía. Está recuperando, ok, ok. ¿Y qué tal pasaron su, su primera dosis? ¿Su primera dosis fue suave? No, piché. La pasaron mal. Okay. No, dos semanas de incapacidad. Santo Dios, se le desarrolló. Sí. Ok. Tremendo. Ok. Yo creo que depende de la casa, ¿verdad? De dónde es la vacuna, que así son las reacciones. Okay, well, this is because on Sunday, yesterday, I got my third dose. So that's what I was asking to you because I had a really bad night. Yeah, you know, I had fever and all the symptoms, you know. So that's what I was asking because I just wanted to know um, your experience about the vaccine. Yeah, but I see almost everyone is vaccinated already, right? Okay, great. We are going to start tonight with the topic. Today, we are going to talk about money, money, money. Do you like talking about money? Well, I love money. I like money, but it's very difficult to earn it, right? But yeah, we are going to talk about money tonight. So we are going to start with um, the presentation here. Okay, I'm going to present... Uh, the, the topic and the objective, okay? Just let me share the screen with you. And let me go here. Sometimes this thing stops. Okay, here we go. Because the topic for tonight is how to use, how much, and how many. We're gonna learn how to ask with this to um, expressions. We are gonna learn how to use, how much, and how many. This is our topic for tonight, okay? Let's see what's going to be your agenda, okay? Our agenda for, to for tonight is that I'm going to present the class objective, then we are gonna have a little feedback Uh, the feedback is about the time expressions that we studied um, Friday. So we are gonna start with that. It's just a little, a short feedback, okay? Then we're gonna learn about how much and then how many, and then we're gonna talk about money. Then you are going to the breakout rooms to work with the manuals and we're going to have a little chit chat, okay? And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is uh, David Alejandro's turn, okay? El turno de ahora es para David Alejandro. Okay? For the session one-on-one. Okay, one -on -one. okay teacher. Okay, David. So let's go and see the first thing, the objective. 
what's the goal for tonight? Our goal is that you are going to learn how to make questions with how many and how much, okay? How many and how much? I know everybody knows about the countable and uncountable nouns, yes. But tonight we're gonna focus in money, money speaking, okay? We're gonna talk about money and the benefits that we receive in our jobs, okay? The, the benefits. For example, bonuses, how much do they pay? For example, um, if you have vacations, how many days are in your vacation? So that's the topic for tonight. And that's the goal that you are going to learn how to talk about things related to your work, okay? Situations related to your work. That's, well, or there is where we are gonna use the how much and how many. Okay, now, please, let's think about this quote. Okay, como hemos estado viendo acerca de las rutinas y de todas esas cosas, vamos a comenzar nuestro feedback. We are gonna start our feedback, okay? Do you see this is a quote? Quote means eh, una eh, frase que va entre comillas, ¿verdad? O una frase que alguien dijo, okay? Eso es una quote, quote. This is a quote. Leamos a ver qué dice. Leamos, así en silencio primero, en silence. Just reading. Okay, what does it say? Let's read it together. I'm going to read it first and then I'm going to ask some of you to read it. And then we are going to think about what it is saying or what Robert Frost was thinking about when he said this thing. The brain, the brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office, okay? Again, the brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. Okay. Let's see, Juan Diego, please. Can you read it for us, please? Okay. Um, the brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. Okay, thank you very much. David Alejandro, can you read it, please? The brain is the wonder, wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get up into the office. Okay, thank you very much. Daisy, please, can you read it for us, please? The brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop until you get into the office. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Marco, what do you think this um, quote is referring to? What do you understand here?
in English, teacher. Uh, let's try to say it in English. Yes, please. Okay. Try sentence by sentence, okay, to make it easier. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what is the brain? The brain is the organ, okay, that controls all your um, nerves, okay? Juan Diego, go ahead, please. Tell yes, me. I can try to produce it. Okay. Um, el cerebro es un organo maravilloso. Okay, you want to translate it? Okay, let's try, let's try to think about sentence by sentence, but saying um, what you understand, but in English. Okay, let's try to oh, say this okay. in English. Think... For example, the brain is a wonderful organ. What is the brain, right? The brain is... Oh, I... Uh-huh. Okay, the brain is, is in my... It's in my head yes it's inside um, your head correct correct it's inside my head um you start working talk about the the start the brain starts to to the day today um the moment you get up um you how to say uh, wake up. Yes, morning. yes, okay. Mm -hmm. From the moment you open your eyes, right? From the moment that's you, waking up. Uh -huh. That's waking up. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then you get up, right? Then you get up and you're thinking, well, I have to have breakfast. I'm going to prepare my lunch. I'm going to uh, dress up with these blouse, with this skirt or with these pants, right? We, I'm going to wear these shoes. And you are always thinking and thinking and thinking and the brain is always working, working. And for example, you start, you start in the morning like, uh, okay, alarm clock right <laughs> and then you say oh just five more minutes please right but no that's the moment where the brain starts working right it starts working okay ahora veamos el final de la de la frase acá es muy interesante porque a mi modo de entender o a mi modo de ver Nosotros estamos inmersos en tantas cuestiones y tantas cosas porque nosotros no eh, podríamos decir, ¿verdad? Trabajamos para vivir, no vivimos para trabajar, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero normalmente nuestro trabajo nos absorbe tanto que nuestro cerebro, eso es lo que dice ahí, uh, stops, stops until you get into the office, ¿ok? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es que se, se detiene el, el, el cerebro? Llego al trabajo y paró mi cerebro. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí hay procesos, ahí hay todo eso. Entonces, tratemos de no ser robots. Let's try not to be robots in the job. Okay. So that's what it says here. Okay. ¿Sí se comprende? ¿Sí se comprende? Yes, Tratemos de que nuestro cerebro en el trabajo siga trabajando y siga creando y siga siendo feliz y haciéndonos felices, ¿verdad? Ok, this is just a quote and it was just to warm up, ¿ok? Eso era para comenzar y recordar que hay frases, ¿verdad? De tiempo, hay, hay expresiones de tiempo como esta que tenemos acá, in the morning, ¿ok? Tenemos esa otra que... Son actividades que hemos ya visto, ¿verdad? Bien, ahora, quiero hacerles una pregunta. I want to ask you a question for you uh, to... Yes, tell me. Uh, how do you say... ¿Cómo dijo que eran estas frases? ¿Cómo se llaman? Quotes. Quotes. I'm going to try to write it down over here for you to... Okay. 
like this. Quote. Porque están entre comillas y las comillas se llaman quotes. Okay. Quote. Si ¿Sí lo mira ahí en la pantalla. Yes, I see. Okay. That's the name of those kind of phrases. Mm -hmm. I read this phrase uh, de otra forma. Okay. Say, the brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you born and does not stop until you get in love. Oh, good. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Then you get crazy and the, the brain doesn't work anymore. You just do what your heart is feeling. Yeah, you're right. That's a good one. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Okay, guys. ¿Sí cacharon cómo dijo su compañero? Until you get in or fall in love, right? <laughs> Until you fall in love, then your brain too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Guys, look, we're gonna remember just what we were studying, okay? Let me go here. Now, when do you have lunch? When? When do you have lunch? When do you have lunch, Patricia? At noon. Okay. Uh huh. I have lunch at noon. Yes. And do you have lunch at noon every day? Uh, no, teacher. I have uh, in the afternoon. Okay. When, for example, on Mondays, on Fridays, on weekends? It's, it's for my job, it, uh -huh. it's what do you say, variado? Is... Uh, I have a diverse schedule. Schedule. My schedule. Okay. My schedule is diverse. Yes. Sorry. My schedule is diverse. Okay. My schedule is diverse. For example, in your job, do you have lunch? At noon, I'm going to ask, for example, Alba, when do you have lunch? When do you have lunch? I have lunch in the afternoon. Okay. Muy bien. Esa es la respuesta cuando nos preguntan when, ¿ok? When. Si yo le hubiera preguntado, what time do you have lunch? I'm more specific, right? Entonces ahí usted me hubiera contestado la hora exacta, right? I have lunch at, y me dice la hora. Okay, for example, at uh, 12, right? Let's say 12. Or I have lunch at 2 p.m. Okay, at 2. Oops. P.m. Okay, this is, this is very important for us. We are just giving a, a little feedback, okay? And let's remember that we don't do, I mean, if you have a, a diverse schedule, you don't do the same thing at the same time every day, okay? You have to explain what you do and what days. That is why we need to use these other expressions, okay? For example, if I ask, when do you have lunch on Mondays? When do you have lunch on Mondays? 
Okay. Uh, let's see, Mayra. When do you have lunch on Mondays? I have lunch. Um, eight, well, excuse me? Eight more. Eight. eight. I uh -huh. have lunch. Uh-huh. Uh, in the night? Uh, el lunch is el almuerzo. Dinner is la cena. Breakfast, el desayuno. Es, ah, es que le escuché por la mañana. Pues. Oh, okay. Decíamos in the afternoon or at noon, for example. Pero eh, ahorita me está preguntando eh, en el qué día momento, lunes. ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. El día lunes. Exacto. Ah, On Monday. I had lunch. Uh -huh. I have lunch uh, at noon. At noon. Ok. Entonces, para contestar la pregunta, como yo le pregunté, when do you have lunch on Mondays? Usted empieza con on Mondays. Ok. I have lunch at noon. Ok. Para hacer ah, una okay. respuesta con sentido, una oración, ¿verdad? Específica, ¿verdad? Exacto, ah, exacto, okay. específica. Entonces sí. sería, on Monday I have lunch at noon. At noon. I know. I know. Uh -huh. At noon, correct. I know. Uh -huh. Yes, for example, it, okay, if I ask, for example, Pablo Alberto, when do you have lunch on weekends? Ajá. Comenzaríamos con on weekends. Ajá. No, we, we can't hear you, Pablo. Repeat, please. Okay. When do you have lunch on weekends? Um, weekend, sí. Mm -hmm. On weekends. I have lunch at noon. Great. On weekend, I have lunch at noon. Excellent. There you are. You see, this is what we were studying um, on Friday. Now, let's remember, we have this word every. Uh, let me do this thing over here. Every. Do you see this word? Every. En español, nosotros tenemos un, una palabra para cada cosa, ¿verdad? En inglés, every nos está hablando de cada y de todos, ¿ok? Cada lunes, cada martes, o puede también significar todos los lunes, todos los martes, ¿ok? So we could say um, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. Y también podemos decir every week, every weekend, right? Every hour. Yes. So we can use this word every in the time expression. So let me go to the next one for you to see this. I'm going to select this. Okay. Like this. Look. We could use every day. Se convertiría como en daily. Es el significado, right? Every day, daily. Every week, weekly. Every month, monthly. Every year, yearly. Every hour, hourly. Ahora, ya si lo vamos haciendo como más chiquitito de minutes and seconds, no se usa mucho, ¿ok? Decimos every second, every minute, pero no eh, secondly or minutely, no. No, no es muy um, eh, utilizable, digamos. So we have to see this. 
I have lunch at noon every day. Okay? I have lunch at noon every day. Now, uh, every day, como les, rep les repito, every puede ser todos los días o puede ser cada día. Okay? Daily, daily en realidad es como diariamente. Ok, diariamente, semanalmente sería weekly, monthly, mensualmente, right? yearly, ¿qué sería? Anualmente. Correct. And hourly? We don't have a word for that. Decimos cada hora. Ok, hourly es cada hora. No decimos hora, hora mente. No, we don't say that. Okay, so this is just for you to take in consideration and take it as a feedback from last week. But now let's see how do we use these time expressions? How do we use these time expressions? Here we have some examples. The company sells, acuérdense que vamos a ver acá es en tiempo presente, the company nuestro sujeto es singular, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, le agregamos la letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? The company sells a million products daily. ¿Ok? Al día, diariamente, ¿verdad? Right? The company sells a million products daily. I read two books monthly. I read two books monthly. I visit my relatives yearly. I visit my relatives yearly. The app changes your user code hourly. The app changes your user code hourly. Okay. Now, Nestor, please, can you read the first one, the first sentence? The company sells a million products daily. Thank you very much. Uh, the, thank you. The second one, please, Luz. Repeat, please. Can you please read the second sentence? I read two books monthly. Okay. Para pronunciar este verbo, todos tengamos cuidado porque si decimos read, está en tiempo pasado. Okay. Tenemos que decir read, read, para que sea tiempo presente. Okay. I read two books monthly. Okay. Let's see number three, Alba, please. I visit my relat relatives uh -huh. jewelry. Okay. What are my relatives? My Rel relatives. Uh -huh. Relatives. Relatives. ¿Qué son relatives? Mm -hmm. Ajá, pariente. Ok. Parientes, mis parientes. Right? I visit my relatives yearly. And the last one, please. Can you read it, Cecia? The app ch changes your user code hardly. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in these examples on the, or in the time expressions thing? Does anybody have a question? No, teacher. Is it clear? Yes, to me, to me yes, teacher. Okay, great, great. I see a question here. 
Okay. Here we go. Bien. Hasta aquí ya sería nuestro feedback. Okay. Here we finished our feedback. We are going to start a new topic. The new topic is how much and how many, right? How much and how many? I'm going to ask this question, okay? How many days do you have in your vacations? How many days do you have in your vacations? A ver, todos pensando, everybody thinking about how to answer this question. Let's see, Marco, how many days do you have in your vacations? Um, five days a week is my period on vacation. Uh, okay, um, let me understand what you said. Five days? Uh, how do you say Abil? The, uh, the business days. Ah, business okay. days. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. My vacation or five day business business day. Okay, and uh, in this case, so you said it uh, five business days. Oh, sorry, five business days. Only five, or do you have two periods? It's a period, teacher. It's a period. Okay, so you have it like divided divided in the year. Yeah. Okay, right. Now let's see. How many days do you have in your vacations, David Alejandro? I have ten days on my vacation. Okay, I have ten days on my vacation. Great. Great. Are they business days, David, or are they calendar days? Calendar days. Okay, okay. Now let's see, Luz, how many days do you have in your vacations? I have vacation 35 days. 35, like this? Eh, no. So, I eh, have a 15 days. Okay, 15. 15. 15 days. Okay. Are they business days or are they calendar days? And, um, business days. Business days. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So it's not included the weekend. Excellent. So let's see. Let's see. Juan Diego, how many days do you have in your vacations? How to say repartido? Uh, it's divided. 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 Mm -hmm. um, I have 21 days of vacation uh, divided in three periods. Zero. Divided in three periods. three periods. Okay, so you have like uh, three weeks, right? Uh, seven, yes. seven, seven. Okay. Yes, like this. Three weeks. Good. And three periods. There you are. Okay, if you see, what do we do when we want to answer this question? We have to count, right? Uh, we have to count from, from Monday through Friday, one, two, three, four, five days. I'm counting, I'm counting. Entonces, vamos a decir que vamos a usar how many para los nombres que son contables, para poder preguntar qué cantidad, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos? Esa sería la uh, 
uh, translation or the use, el uso, right? For example, here, you said five business days, 10 days, 15 days, okay? And we're talking about calendar days or business days and it is okay. But in this case, day, the word day is a countable noun, okay? I can count the days, one, two, three days, 30 days. How many days are there in a month? How many days are there in a month? How many days? 31. Okay, from 30 or 31, right? Yeah, yeah. there are some months that they uh, got um, 30 days and then we have the others with 30 one days in a month, right? How many days are there in a week? Seven days. Seven days, correct. Seven. How many days are there on a weekend? Two days. Two days, okay. What days are those? Saturday and Sunday. Seven. Excellent. There you are. So you see how many days, how many days. Remember, always when we can count the thing that we want to ask the, can, the amount or the la cantidad de esa cosa que sí se puede contar, entonces vamos a usar how many. Then we are going to use how many. Okay. Are we okay till here? Do you have any question about this? Okay, vamos entonces jumping in into the main topic here. How much do you earn monthly? Usually we don't like to say how much we earn in a month, right? Usually we, wanna, we don't wanna mm, uh, let everybody know, uh, everybody knows how much I get in my job, right? But vamos a hablar aunque sea hipotéticamente para poder entender el tema, okay? So, how much do you earn monthly? Earn es un verbo siempre relacionado con dinero. Earn, earn, ganar, okay? Earn, de vengar, okay? Earn, how much do you earn monthly? Hay muchas formas de preguntar esto. Ok, los vamos a ir viendo más adelante. Pero lo principal ahorita, the main thing is that you earn money. Ok, that's what you get when you work. Ok, they pay you money for working, for doing a job. Money, the word money is an uncountable noun. Ahora, es un nombre que no se puede contar. Ahora, si yo les pregunto, can you count money? Can you count money? Can you count money? Yes. <laughs> Correct. Okay, you, you can count the money, okay? You can count the money, but money you cannot count, okay? El nombre, como nosotros dijéramos ahorita, dinero, dinero, como tal en español, dinero, no decimos, bueno, ahora pues sí se usa de esa manera, pero en realidad dinero no es contable. Un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros, cuatro dineros, cinco dineros, normalmente no. Okay? A menos que usted divida los dineros, ahora ya se hace eso. Pero, eh, como decir, semánticamente en el significado, en el significado de dinero no lo podemos contar. Ok, podemos contar los billetes. We can count the bills. Podemos contar las monedas. Yes, we can count the coins. Podemos contar la cantidad de dinero. Pero dinero como tal, la palabra no es contable. Ok, en inglés, money is uncountable. Por lo tanto, todo lo que esté relacionado con dinero, lo vamos a pre preguntar con how much. Ok, how much, si yo aquí le pusiera en esta, permítame. Okay. 
Okay, para que se vea. How much money? Okay. How much money do you earn monthly? Okay. How much money do you earn monthly? Entonces, cuando vamos a preguntar dinero como sujeto, vamos a usar how much. Okay? Are we okay with this? Yes, teacher. Okay. Muy bien. Yes, teacher. Very good. But talking about the countable and non-countable nouns, para hacer un poquito la diferencia, to make a little bit the difference here, let's think about the countable nouns and uncountable nouns. O ¿A qué se refiere un nombre contable y un nombre no contable? Okay, let's see. Muchas veces los conceptos son muy diferentes en español que en inglés. Por ejemplo, nosotros decimos un papelito, un papel, pero en inglés no podemos contar el papel. Paper is uncountable. Entonces, hay que abrir un poquito nuestro, eh, nuestros conceptos, ¿ok? Y hacer que nuestro cerebro trabaje para resetear y poner que paper no se puede contar. We can say a paper. ¿Por qué? Ahora les voy a decir por qué. Porque cuando nosotros lo, lo utilizamos, es ese nombre, paper, como contable, digamos, uh, en plural, por ejemplo, papers or a paper, estoy hablando de un documento, no de una hoja de papel. ¿Ok? ¿Sí se comprende por qué debemos abrir los conceptos? Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok, now let's go and see. I have a list here. I have a list here. Pencil. Pencil. Can we count pencils? Yes, right. One pencil, two pencils, three pencils. We can say computer. Yes, we can count the computers. Copy machines. Yes. Books. Of course, we can count books. Eraser. Yes, we can count erasers. The borradores, right? Desk. Can you count the desks? Yes, right? We can say one desk, two desks, etc. So if you see, I have a um, list here of words that you can count. I'm going to erase this list, okay? And you are going to uh, you are going to say some things that you are looking around you, okay? Cosas de las que ustedes tienen alrededor que se pueden contar, okay? Things that you have around you that you can count. Okay, let's start. Scissors. Okay. Uh, Butter of water. Okay. Pay your shoes. Okay. Uh, notebook. Notebook. Chairs. Good. Printer. Orange. Great. Pencil, Hello. pen. Mm -hmm. Backpack. Okay. Pillow. Market. Are you in your bed? Yeah, right. <laughs> Pillow. Okay, great. Pillow. Uh -huh. Markers. Yes, markers. Mm -hmm. Cell phone. Great. Um, table. Okay. Razor. Ray. Like this. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry, I couldn't get the word. Did you say razor? Sí, eraser. Ah, eraser. Okay. There you are. Yes. 
those things are countable. So if I ask, for example, how many scissors did you see? How many scissors do you have? Okay, how many scissors do you, do you have? In este caso, okay, scissors, como siempre es un plural en inglés, ¿verdad? Si dijéramos solo scissor, a scissor, sería como solo una de las navajas. Okay, so we need both. And then we said a pair of, of scissors. Okay, así como me dijeron pair of shoes, pair of scissors. Okay, there you are. So yes, these things are countable for sure, for sure. Now let's see, we could think about Estas fueron las cosas que estaban alrededor de ustedes. Ahora nos vamos a ir un poquito más afuera de ustedes y vamos a pensar en los, lo que tienen alrededor de su casa. Ok. Around your houses. Ok. Think everybody about your houses. Countable things. Um, Luis. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you very well. Mm, I'm sorry, I can't get it. Can you spell Chairs. that for me? Chairs. Chairs, yes. Uh, pero cuál era la otra palabra? Table. Okay. Door. Okay. Cat. I'm sorry. Cat. Cats, cat like the pet. Lo siento, no, no entiendo, no la agarro la palabra. Me la puede repetir? Can you repeat that, please? Mascot, cat, mascot. Ah, the pet. Okay, cats. Good, good, good. Uh huh. Now around your house, think about. Outdoors, outdoors. Um, the cars. Okay. Uh huh. The trash can. Okay. Three. Yes. Excellent. Motorbike. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a hole. Hole like this. Manguera. Hole. Uh, like uh, I don't remember the spelling of that. Uh, let me remember. Do you remember the spelling? Uh, I have my thing translator here, but now, one second. My, get up. Oh, is it? Yeah, S, it's, it's letter S. It's letter yeah. S, yes. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Is there any park near your house? Park. park? Are there parks? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, is there a street near your house? Yes, right. Are there any supermarkets around your house? Supermarket. Y así podemos ir diciendo cosas que sí podemos contar, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿cómo preguntamos? Preguntamos, for example, how many chairs do you have in your house? ¿Ok? How many chairs do you have in your house? How many tables are there in your house? 
Yeah. I'm going to write it down for you just to take note, but this is not the main thing. This is just to have an idea, okay? This is just to have an idea. Okay. How oops, many chairs do you have in your house? Okay. Another question. How many tables are there in your house? Okay. Entonces, vemos que how many lo podemos utilizar en tiempo presente, tanto con el to be como de la forma usando do or does para preguntar, ¿verdad? For example, uh, we could think about Nestor, right? How many houses uh, do you, no, does, does Nestor have? Okay, there you are. Entonces podemos usar how many in different contexts, okay? So let's see how many, uh, let's say parks because I said parks, okay? How many parks are there in your city? Okay. Uh, a ver, utilicemos con trash can. ¿Alguien me dice una oración con trash can? How many? How many trash can? Uh, does David how have? Okay, great. In, in the yard. Great. There you are. Excellent. Excellent. You see, usually when we ask about the countable nouns, we use the plural, okay? Normalmente cuando preguntamos, preguntamos en plural, ¿verdad? No preguntamos, eh, eh, ¿cuántas sillas? No, we say, ¿cuántas sillas? Okay, siempre lo hacemos like in plural. So let's Take that in consideration. So how many tables, how many houses, how many parks, how many trash cans, okay? And then we are asking and requesting for a number, for a number, okay? For example, if I say, how many chairs do you have in your house? What will be the answer? I have... Mm -hmm. Six. Okay, six, six chairs. chairs. Thank you. Now, let's see, how many tables are there in your house? How I many tables? Have, I have two tables. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. How many hoses does Nestor have? He, he has two houses. Okay, he has two. There you are. How many parks are there in your city? There is one. Okay, great. Si hubieran más de uno, utilizáramos there are, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Pero como es solo uno, es there, I'm sorry. There is one park. Yes one park okay there is one park y si es definitivamente el único we could say only one park okay only one park how many trash cans does david have in the yard he has two trash cans okay Excellent. Do you see this is the way to answer how many? Okay, how many? We are talking about countable things. So we are uh, requesting for a number or an amount, una cantidad, okay? So now let's go and check. Let's see, next one. 
Ah, I'm going to erase this. Is it okay? Puedo borrar? May I erase? Okay. Okay. Now we have the how much. We use how much with uncountable or non-count nouns. Okay. Usualmente los non-count nouns son líquidos, sustancias, eh, cantidades a granel, for example, the cereals or the food usually is, um, is uncountable, okay? Let's see this. Let's see this in this list. For example, water. I cannot count water. I can say a water, two waters, three waters. Ahora se ha vuelto como una forma coloquial y más fácil, ¿verdad? De decir, hey, give me a ah, water and I'm asking for a bottle of water or a bag of water or a cup of water. But um, the, uh, hemos llegado al punto de evolucionar el lenguaje de tal forma que le quitamos el cuantificable, lo simplificamos, ¿sí? Pero la base y lo académico, lo real sería non-countable, ok, uncount noun, water, fries, food, right, uh, sugar, fried beans, do you like fried beans? How much of fried beans do you like? I mean, how much do you eat? How much of fried beans do you serve in your plate? Okay, how much wine do you drink? Okay, wine, wine is uncountable. You cannot count wine. You can count a bottle of wine, but you cannot count wine. Okay, juice, the same thing. Soup, soup. Ajá, aquí tengamos el cuidado. Esta es pronunciación soup, soup, okay? La sopa, soup is uncountable. Coffee. Air, air is non-countable. Milk, paper, alcohol, cotton, pollution, mm -mm, it's not countable. Vapor, sand, it's non-countable. Okay? Ahora, en este, vamos a borrarlas. Okay? And let's think about uncountable things. Okay. Uh, Okay, here we go. For example, T. Uh -huh. Okay, great. T. Mm -hmm. What else? Gasoline. Great. Blue. Blue. Pegamento. La, la cola, no sé cómo decir. Uh, glue. 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 Uh -huh. Glue. Uh -huh. The hair in my head. The hair, yes. Sometimes it comes, it becomes countable, ¿verdad? A veces sí lo podemos contar. Cuando es solo uno, right? We can count a hair, but we cannot count the hair. Okay. Great. Uh, what about stars? The same. Uh, usually, <laughs> usually we could say stars are uncountable. Yeah, because you cannot count the stars on the sky, but, yes. but star yeah, yeah. is countable. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star is okay. countable. Yes. Okay. You can say a star, two stars, three stars. When you are drawing, for example. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Teacher, un ejemplo. Tell si, me. si, if I ask. A question, uh, ¿cuánto inglés puedes uh, puede hablar? ¿Cómo se pudiera decir? 
Okay, how, um, well, in this case, it's how... ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Uh, no entraría en how much. No entraría no, en eh? how much. No, what's your English level? Okay. Ah, What's okay. your English level? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Si usted quiere preguntar como de si, no, no creo que entraría, pero déjeme pensarlo con how much. Okay. How much English? Oh, yeah. How much English do you understand? Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. How much English do you understand? And then you say a percentage. For example, you can say a 50% of English, right? Or yeah, okay, an yes. 80%. Yeah. So how much English do you understand? Yes. How much okay. English do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Language is uncountable, right? Language yes, is yes, uncountable. Yes. Yeah. So how much is for uncountable nouns? Y el tema que nos atañe ahora es money. Okay. Money is uncountable. Money. Money is uncountable. So let's go to the, uh, let me. Vamos a parar aquí. We're going to stop because I have to take the attendance. Okay. So please, uh, those who can turn the cameras on and also please say present when you hear your name. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Pérez Cideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Delmi Isabel no estaba. Delmi Isabel. No, yo creo que no sabe conectar porque voy en el cumpleaños. Oh, ok. <risa> no se me imagino que anda de fiesta. <risa> ok, ok. Eva Leticia Contreras Arqueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. José Ernesto Mezquita Bautista. Juan Diego López Palacios. Okay. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher, present, present. Ok, Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Se me fue mi video. Present ¿no? teacher. Ok. Ok, thank you. A ver, sí, sí, era de bueno. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada, Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura, okay. Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Present teacher. Okay. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay. Here we are. Now we are going to go to the manuals because in our manuals we have a conversation and they are talking about the things that we were talking already using how much and how many. Okay. So let's see this little conversation. Here we've got it. Okay. 
Okay. Ruth and Josh, they are talking about vacations and money, right? So it says, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $60, I'm, I'm sorry, $600. Uh, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too, I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses, what about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay. Esta es una conversacioncita, como decir entre dos cheros, ¿va? Entre dos cheros hablando, normalmente uno no cuenta ¿verdad? lo que gana, por seguridad y también para que no lo envidien, ¿verdad? Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, sometimes we are just uh, being in a, well, we reserve those kind of data, okay? That kind of data. But let's hear Patricia, please, and Pablo. Can you um, role play this conversation for us, please? The big t-shirt. Can you please role play the conversation? Role play. Ustedes lo van a decir esta conversacioncita. You are Ruth and Pablo is her. Josh. Okay. okay. Excuse me, Pablo. Okay. Okay, there you are. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have a vacation at the job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do bonuses. you have? Bonuses do you have per year root? I have four bonuses. What about you? Um, how much do you receive? I have just just two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Excellent. Now, do you have any question about this conversation, the vocabulary in this conversation? Does anybody have a question? Questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. Nos vamos a ir al breakout rooms a practicar esta conversación y también tenemos esta eh, actividad, activity number three. You have to circle if you are going to use how much or how many in both sentences, okay? Y vamos a dejar este cuadrito que ven acá, lo vamos a ver cuando regresemos, ¿ok? Cuando regresemos aquí al, a la sala principal, ahorita solo van a ir a practicar la conversación y a contestar esto, ¿ok? Y luego, este cuadrito lo vamos a hacer después. It's page 14, ¿ok? Page 14 in your manuals. So I'm going to break this into groups. Va a quedar un grupo de tres, okay? Y de ahí los demás son pairs. There we are.
Pokémon. Teacher, ah, sí. ¿cómo hacemos para, para buscar la, la conversación acá para poder verla? Ok. ¿Ya está en su plataforma? No. ¿A, qué? ¿A dónde la busco en la plataforma? ¿O en me la meto? Plata sí, en la plataforma tiene el, el manual y ahí dice la, la viñetita, manual. Ajá. Espérenme. Quiero ver. ¿Ya está dentro? No. Va, es que... ¿y, ¿Y en el que le mandamos en el WhatsApp? Sí, ese es el que voy a buscar, la plataforma. Va. Va, aquí la tengo ya. Es la página 14, es page 14. Ajá. Uh -huh. Va, ya me metí en el módulo 2, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Aquí dice, me estudio el manual. Exacto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es que um, yo lo tengo impreso, pero la compañera no lo tiene. Ah, sí. Oh, ok, ok. Página 14, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, también se lo puedo mandar acá, pero... Um, vale, ya la tengo acá. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora usted le da abajo compartir pantalla, donde está share. Eh, ¿Lo tiene en inglés o en español? Este, en la, eso ya en la, en la, en la sala, ¿verdad? Exactly, uh -huh. en Zoom. Ajá, ahorita. Abajo hay una que está en verde que dice compartir pantalla o share screen o solo share. Sí, aquí ya, ya la, esa ya la tengo, es esta. Ok. En básico, ¿verdad? Exacto, básico y, y presione, hágale clic a lo que va a compartir. Uh -huh. Y luego le doy compartir. Exactamente. Ay, no sé There si you la, are. La, la yes, bien. you did it good. Ay, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ahora sí, Patricia. Pero no la veo. La mira. No. ¿Qué es esa? La 13. Ahí. Ah, se subió. No veo el espacio. No. Es esa, creo, no. No, it's page 14. No, no. You are in 16 uh -huh. now. Es esa. La la ve, Patricia. No, la mitad, no. pero ¿Mm? ya ya lo voy a descargar el manual. Póngale F11 luz para que le dé toda la página o póngale Ahorita. ahí presentar fit page. Ahorita, pero, um, Ahora. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Sí. Bye. 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 Empiezo yo, Patricia. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Bye. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have five vacation at your job? Yes, I do. Me too. I have a vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days. Yes. The first, like, uh, how much do they pay? And the second, Mm -hmm. How many days do you have in your vacation? Because days is accountable and money is non-accountable. Sí, porque habla, Ruth dice... Ella, just, um, teacher, just a question. Um, they responded his answer, expression to ask about money, or just the figure three? Uh, this one, uh, yes, in activity number three, you have to circle much or many, depending, depending on what you think it is correct. Oh, okay, just, just this two. Yes, because yes. when we go to the main room, then we are going to study about the expressions to ask about money, okay? 
Ah, ok, teacher. Thank uh -huh. you so much. Ok. Entonces, de acuerdo a la, a la conversación, es la respuesta, ¿verdad? Correct. Ok. Y ya dejamos uh, a Manny. Lo que okay. podemos okay. hacer, Mayra, es practicar la... Sí. La, 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 la conversación. La conversación. Vale. Uh -huh. Ok, ahí you... me ayuda por sí. Ok. You, you eh, comienzo, start, ¿verdad? Start, yeah. Ok. You are hey. Ruth and me, Josh. Ok. Hey, Joe, I have, I have a question for you. Do you have five vacations in your house? Okay, um, so I like, can, uh, I hate, this, this is, I hate, but I have, in la, in la del final, hot is job. ¿Cómo? Job. Job. Ah, job. Yes. No es hop, es job. No, es job. Ah. Ah, porque yeah. es la J, ajá, que okay. Joe, entonces sería okay. Hey, Joe, I have hey, a Joe. question uh -huh. for you, you, for you, y ahí dice, do you have a vacation at your Joe? Yeah, just like that. Okay, yes, I do, but how about you? Me too. I have a vacation How many days do you have in your vacation? Uh, 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have here year work? I have four boys and a bonus. Is bonus, bonus or bonuses? Bonuses. I have oh, okay. four bonuses. Bonuses. Yes, bonuses. Bonuses, bonuses. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Qué significa? I have four bonuses. Bonus, pero en plural, ¿verdad? Bonuses. Ah, bonuses. Bonus. More than uh -huh. one bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have, I have four bonuses. What I bought you? And how much do you raise it? We we'll see, okay. I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Uh, eh, me cuesta la palabra job, job, Edea, no es job. Job, it's job. Sí, job. Trabajo, job, trabajo. Ah, uh, job. A ver si la estaba pronunciando muy mal. Okay, Entonces general, yo veo que de acuerdo bien. a las respuestas, eh, quiero ver um, how much money do they pay. How much money do they pay? Pay. Pay. Solo que ahí está en singular, ¿verdad? La pregunta. Because using they, ¿no? Es que dentro de la, dentro de la conversación, eh, el pie es el, es la primera, ¿verdad? Pie, package, ¿o no? Pay, Me equivoco. Pay, package. Ajá, ¿sí? Yes. Solo que lo ahí arriba que está, está, como, ahí. está conjugado diferente. Exactamente, sí? exactly. Ajá. But here is in present, pay, pay. Ajá. Ok, pero acá, paid, es pagadas, ¿ok? Porque está uh -huh. hablando de las vacaciones. Uh -huh. Paid vacations, esto va junto. Paid vacations. Vacaciones pagadas. Paid, eh, ¿vendría a ser como un pasado, algo así? Yes, but in this case is like, um, it's an, an adjective in this case. En este caso okay. es como un adjetivo, entonces se convierte como en un se conjuga como en un participio, pero no, no podemos decir así. No podemos ¿verdad? decir que es pasado. No. Porque no como... Mm -mm. Un participio, right? Participio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Ok. I see you are doing a good job. I'm going to another room, ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok.
Okay, guys. This was the uh, conversation and the questions that you had to complete circle, circling the words were this one. So circle the word that best, best completes the questions. How much or how many do they pay? What is the correct word? Much or many? Much. 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 Okay, yes, because we are talking about money, right? Money. We are talking, yes, about money. So in this case is much. Okay. Right. Okay. Then how much or many days do you have in your vacations? What will be the how correct? Many? Okay. Many. 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 Okay. Um, Okay, how many days? Ahora veamos este cuadrito que tenemos ahí, right? We have um, some expressions that we use when we talk about money. And this is, this is a list of very common uh, expressions that you are using this every day. Every day and every place is the same expression okay so i was saying about how much do you earn right how much do you earn that was the question that i asked la primera pregunta que les hice acerca de dinero how much do you earn monthly pero eso se puede decir de diferentes maneras okay una de ellas es esta how much do they pay okay how much do they pay for example, if you are looking for a job, si usted está buscando un trabajo, if you are looking for a job, the first thing when you ask about the benefits and, or the, uh, yeah, the benefits of what do they offer, then you say, how much do they pay, right? How much do they pay? You are asking for the salary amount, salary, okay? Salary is money the salary amount. Then, uh, okay, here, we are asking for the salary, yeah? How much do they pay? Ahora, en la siguiente, how much do they charge? How much do they charge? Uh-huh. What do you think they are asking for, or what informa information do they um, uh, do they request? They are asking for prices. Okay, how much do they charge? How much do they charge? And then, how much is it? Also, you are asking for the price of something. Okay. How much is it? It's the same, though, right? Yes, and this is the common thing, the common question uh, that always you, you are going to use when you go to buy something, when you go shopping, you ask, for example, how much is this cell phone, right? How much is it? How much is it? Ahora, si fuera en plural y si fueran más productos de los que yo quiero preguntar, ya no sería is it, ¿verdad? Serían no. are they, okay? Are they? How much are they? Porque es un plural. Okay? okay. How much are they? Lo voy a escribir acá para que tomen nota. Okay. So, how much are they? This is when are more products. Cuando es más de un producto del que yo quiero saber el precio, ¿verdad? Okay pero no de diferentes productos, sino que de sí. varios productos de una sola clase, ¿verdad? Y, How much y, are para, they? Con, y para contestar sería, they are $200, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now, let's see the, the next one. How much do you earn every month or monthly? Si se fijan lo que decíamos, every, cada mes o mensualmente. Miren, aquí está dividido para que se mire que se puede usar las dos cosas y significa lo mismo. How much do you earn every month or how much do you earn a, uh, monthly? Okay. 
how much do you earn every month or how much do you earn monthly? ¿Qué estamos preguntando aquí? Salary. Okay, your salary. There you are. Salary. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this. And I want to show you uh, a little of questions about this thing. Some questions that are very important. Uh, one moment. Okay, here I have this for you to visualize. Okay, for you to visualize. This is a visual thing. So let's think about when we ask for a price. Asking for the price, we say, how much is it? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que aprender para poder dar el precio o para entender cuando nos dicen el precio? Numbers. Tenemos que aprendernos los números. Okay, numbers. It's imperative to learn the numbers. Ahora, ¿cómo decimos el dinero? Porque estas son cantidades en dinero. Money amounts. Money amounts. ¿Cómo leemos el dinero o los precios? How do we read the prices? Okay, let's read the first one. It says it's one dollar fifty cent. Is it? It's one dollar fifty cents. Veamos ahora la siguiente. How much is this computer? It's seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Todos los cientos vamos a decir el número, ¿verdad? Y hundred, okay? Now, let's see the, uh, the last one here. How much is that jacket? That jacket. It's $95.99. Okay. $95.99. Veamos entonces. Uh, Cecia, please. The first one. Mm. La dos. Yes, please. How much is it? It's one dollar fifty cents. Great. Uh, Nestor, the second one, please. Okay. How much is this computer? It's seven hundred dollars. Okay. Seven hundred bucks. Thank you. Oh yeah, bucks too. Uh huh. Okay. It's another way to call dollars. Sí, bucks. Tengo una pregunta. Se Tell podría me. decir también. How much does this cost, right? Yes, correct. It's another expression, yes. Okay. Y, uh, y de la misma manera, sigue la misma regla gramatical de singular y plural. Okay, how much does this cost? Okay. O, how much is it? Do they cost? Okay. Okay. Singular y plural. Yes, right? yes. Teacher. Singular and plural. Remember that. Okay, then. Uh, the third one. The third one. Please, can you read it? Um, Patricia. <clears throat> How much is the jacket? It's $95.95. Dollars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, great. Do you see this is uh, the, this is what we need to practice. We need to practice the numbers, yeah. numbers. We usually get confused with the 50 and the 15, right? The 40 and the 14, yeah? So we are always having, you know, this kind of complication, but if we practice, we're gonna get it, okay? Let's see this in plural. This was in singular. Now let's see this in plural. Okay. How much are these? How much are these? Okay. They're $12.90 each. 
Each significa cada uno. Okay. Each. And this K. Right. How much are those shoes? They are $110. Okay. $110. Tenemos eh, que recordar siempre que cuando hablamos de cientos, cientos, y ya hay un número que no es entero, ¿verdad? Que ya no es 100, 200, uh, 200, uh, 300, 400, etc. Y tenemos ya las fracciones acá, sería 110. Ok, si sí, aquí tuviera centavos, no puedo decir en ten aquí porque el end lo voy a poner después del punto decimal. Ok, en cualquier otra cantidad lo mismo sería. Ok, now beautiful sunglasses, how much are they? They are 50 dollars. Sunglasses, plural, that's what we say are they, right? How much are they? They are $50. Do you have any question at the moment? No, teacher. Does anybody have a, a question a part of Nestor? Beside Nestor? No questions. No, teacher. No? Okay. Now, uh, we go back to these expressions, okay? because we have to complete uh, a box over there in the manuals. Now, let me erase this, I'm sorry. In our manuals, we have this box. Esta, esta tablita que tenemos abajo es un ejercicio que hay que completar con esas preguntas, porque nos dan la respuesta Y nosotros tenemos que poner la pregunta. We have to write the question. You see? Use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversations. Okay? Let's see this. Remember the, the, the questions we've got here? How much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn monthly? Vamos a ver cuál de esas va en la número uno. A ver, la respuesta es, it is 10.50. Okay, $10.50. Let's see. How much is it? Okay. Okay, the next one, number two. How much do you earn every month? Okay. Number three. How much do they charge? And number four. How much, How much do they much pay? Do they pay? Okay, there we are.
Daisy and Alba, number one. How much is it? It is a ten dollar fifty and fifty cents. And right? fifty cents. Correct. Number two, please, Nestor and Marco. Me, teacher. Yes, please, with Marco. How much do we earn every month? Um, I make five for you, five monthly. Okay, 545. Ah, 500, sorry, sorry, see, yeah, yes. yes, 500, yeah. <laughs> okay. Five. Okay, the complete day will be, I make $545 monthly. I make $545 monthly. Yes. Yes. Now let's see David and Mayra, please. Number three. How much do they, oh. they buy? The company buys. Uh, number uh, three, number three, Mayra. Ah, perdón. Ah, ok, the... yo también me equivoqué. <laughs> <laughs> Voy a, a, a repetir. How ok, please. Do they yes. share? Ok, es how, en la tres. How much do they charge? They charge. take $23 per item. 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 Per item. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number four, please. Juan Diego and Pablo. Okay. How money do they pay? How much? How much How, do they ah, pay? Sí, How much do they pay? The company pays six Six hundred six hundred and ninety dollars. Six hundred and ninety dollars with bonus. Great. There you are, Juan Diego. Okay, guys. You see, I had I had two exercises for tonight, but it's nine and forty-five. I think it's better if we practice the amounts. Okay. So I'm going to send you a link. Solo vamos a hacer este último ejercicio. Vamos a dejar el otro ejercicio para mañana. El ejer ok, voy a repetir. Tenía dos ejercicios, el de how much and how many y el de las cantidades. Creo que nos va a servir mucho ahorita los números, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer el de los números el día de hoy, ¿ok? Ahorita les voy a pasar el link por el chat, aquí en Zoom. Okay. Es listening. Ustedes tienen que oír la cantidad y marcar qué cantidad están diciendo. Okay. There you are.
Ustedes le dan play y van marcando. ¿Ok? ¿Lo hallaron? Okay, did you finish? Yes, teacher, I'm done. Yes. Okay. Teacher, yes. a mí no me lo, no lo pude reproducir. Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay, uh, Luz no lo pudo reproducir en el, en el... Me metí al link y no, solo me daba otra pantalla. No, no pude reproducir nada. No le cargó cargó, se quedó esperando. Puede, puede cerrarlo ese que le abrió y volverlo a presionar. Está bonita la plataforma para practicar listening. Teacher. Yes, it is. It is. Randall's is, is very interesting and it has different levels because it's yes. from A, B, C level so you can find out the beginners, intermediate, yeah. No, siempre se, se queda así como un circulito. Okay. Um, Teacher, quizás ya no tiene la aplicación que le, 
le lea la, la, la plataforma. Probable, eh, está en computadora. Ok, well, we are going to do this, Luz, para que usted también lo siga, ok? I'm going to um, write in words, ok? I'm going to write in words uh, the numbers in the chat, ok? And then everybody and you too, Luz, are going to write in numbers, ok? Are we ok? I will write the word number and then I, you will write the number. Okay. Only one. This is the first one, okay? There it goes. Everybody writing in numbers. Remember the symbol, dollar symbol? Don't forget. Yes, there you are. Right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to write in numbers and you are going to write in words, okay? The word number, okay? There we are. Um, uh, one moment. Let me get like this. Where am I? Oh, it's, uh -huh. Here we go. There you are. It's part of the it's part of the exercise, okay? Yes, Juan Diego. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, Daisy. Yes, David. Okay, I'm going to write a number here and you are going to say it, okay? I'm going to write several numbers. The first one and y el primero que lo diga, okay, perfecto. Ya, yeah? así que abran ahí su micrófono para que estén listos, okay? Okay. Four dollar forty five cent. Great. Fifteen dollars fifty cents. Fifteen dollars fifty cents. Correct. Fifteen dollars. And 50 cents. 50 cents. Yes. Now Damn. we're gonna the last one. This is the last one. Okay. There you are. Sixty dollars and sixteen cents. And sixteen cents. Great. 
Great, you see, it's very important for us to practice the numbers. It's important when we are talking about money because money is numbers, okay? And every, every time we are counting and giving amounts, okay? Giving amounts in dollars. So guys, do you have any question about uh, the class or something that you want to know about money? Questions? No teacher. No teacher. No, no questions. Uh-huh. I like the, the way that we are practicing English because we are practicing the listening, uh, writing, and, and pronunciation. So I like that. Great, great. Yeah, it's important because we want to speak and for speaking, we need to visualize, right? So that's what right. we need to write. And also we need to listen because we need to understand, right? And yes, to yes. answer something, we need to understand what they are asking for. So yes, it's a chain here, yes. Okay, guys, we have only two more minutes, okay? Voy a tomar este tiempo para algo muy importante. Um, Voy a estar poniendo las discusiones y las preguntas en la, en la plataforma para que ustedes lo vayan realizando ex aula. La primera que hicimos acá fue para que ustedes vieran en dónde se hace, ¿verdad? En dónde y cómo se trabaja en la discusión que la hicimos el viernes. Y los felicito, ¿verdad? Por todo lo que sí lo hicieron. Eh, el, quiero, quiero pedirles de favor eh, que procuremos estar en la totalidad de la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, que no faltemos, porque afectamos a nuestros compañeros en el sentido este. Pónganle. Eh, nosotros tenemos un cupo límite, digamos, para que se abran los cursos. Entonces, nosotros necesitamos cierto número de estudiantes para poder impartir el curso. Si este curso se va eh, disminuyendo, si este grupo se va disminuyendo, Lo que sucede es que ustedes dejan, ¿cómo decir?, huerfanitos a sus compañeritos, porque eh, hay que buscarles un grupo en donde se puedan agregar y se va armando otros grupos, ¿verdad?, para poder cubrir los cupos. Y este grupo, así como está ahorita, si ustedes se fijan, todos trabajan en equipo, se ayudan, se, eh, se entienden entre ustedes. Entonces, Manténganse unidos, es una, este es un llamado a la conciencia, ¿verdad? Para que no vayan a desistir, ¿verdad? No vayan a desistir, por favor. De aquí para allá, pues cualquier cosa que ustedes sientan, no entendí, no oí, no me di cuenta, por favor, tenemos el WhatsApp para que se comuniquen. Ustedes pueden incluso en la plataforma poner un post en los questions, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden escribir ahí alguna cosa que les haya faltado saber, ¿verdad? Y tenemos muchas formas de consulta. Ustedes pueden consultar también el manual. Tienen links en el manual en donde pueden ir y ubicar eh, alguna cosa que quieran reforzar, ¿verdad? Hasta este momento eh, hemos cubierto eh, los primeros tres temas, digamos, de la unidad uno. Vamos a finalizar el día miércoles, la unidad uno. El, ese día es un review. Todos los miércoles va a ser un, un review de toda la unidad. Entonces, para ese día, normalmente no vamos a tener una clase tal como vamos ahorita, que voy explicando cada cosa. Y todo. No, ya ese momento vamos a usar el vocabulario y son ustedes los que van a dar la clase, ¿verdad? Porque de eso se trata. Hasta este momento, ¿hay alguna pregunta? No. Teacher, yo tenía problemas oh. con este, eh, me, como este, hacer las tareas en, en, en inglés corporativo. En, el, ¿En la plataforma. En la otra plataforma, sí. Eh, no, no encuentro la, este, el módulo 2, solo me aparece el primero que, que hice ya, no sé cómo hacer. Lo ahí. voy a reportar, Néstor, para que le ayuden, ok. Para que le ayuden los okay, de mucha... soporte técnico. Ok. Ok, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. 
y pues espero que se comuniquen con usted. De lo contrario, también usted puede hacer una llamadita a administración para que le, para que le. Me vean el. el exacto, problema. para que, exacto. Así okay. ustedes se pueden poner de acuerdo a qué horas lo pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Okay. Bien. Uh -huh. eh, hasta aquí estamos bien con esto. Bien, sí, pero, solo voy a tomar la última vez la asistencia porque son tres, ya se me había olvidado que son tres veces que tengo que tomarles la asistencia. I'm sorry, guys. Ya se me pasó un problem, minuto. No problem, teacher. Ok. Alba Yanet López Ábalos. Present, teacher. Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. José Ernesto Mezquita Bautista. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Marco Adonai Villeda. Luz Verónica. Did you say present? Present. Oh, present. Okay, okay. present teacher. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Present. Ok, there you are, Melida. Uh, Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Ok, Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Ok, Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok. Bien, chicos, entonces... Have a good night and let us meet tomorrow, okay? Everybody have a good rest. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. David, se queda, no más. Okay, there you are. I am here. There you are. Pablo is still there. One second, David, because we have to be just you and me over here. Okay, okay. Okay, there it is. Hello, David Alejandro. Nice to be with you tonight. And how can I help you? Well, uh, right now, I don't remember a question, okay. but I am sure I, I have many. <laughs> Eh, um, pues, all you explain is clear for me. Okay. Um, the Friday I don't have, I don't stay in the class because I have a compromise in the church, and then I put listening, but I can con concentrate. And I don't have a time to to see the class. I only see one hour. Oh, okay. And I don't, uh -huh, I don't finish it. But uh, for me, your explanation is clear okay. at the moment. Okay. Uh, we need uh, to practice only because uh, listening uh, for me is the the part more more difficult okay and well, and no was i don't know <laughs> how much say right here i i take note about all your explanation okay but Realmente, ahorita tengo claro, ¿verdad? Ok, ok. So you have no questions. 
don't have a question. But exactly. you want to practice. Yes. <laughs> okay. If you want, we can practice the conversation from the, from the manual. If that's if you want. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 Let me see. Uh, do you want to practice the first one or the one from this class? Uh, from this class. Okay. Page. Here it is. Fourteen. Oh. Page 14, yes. I'm going to share it for you to uh, visualize it too. Okay, here it is. So in this case, we are going to um, uh, substitute our, our names, okay? You're gonna say Carmen and I'm going to say David, okay? Okay. So, hey, David, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Carmen. How about you? Uh, me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Carmen? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. It is 600 Six hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Yes, six hundred. There you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you in the first module did you study the numbers? Do you remember the numbers when you studied them? Um, no, I didn't understand that part. In the module pasado, sí estudiaron bien los números, verdad? Ah, uh, about that. Uh... This is my first course. Oh, okay. Because because the module one is complete, oh, and okay. they ask me and Pablo, is my partner in the company, uh -huh. uh, if uh, si queríamos estar en este, ¿verdad? okay. Because um, había que esperar mucho. Okay. Okay. Now, then, now that you tell me, I'm going to be careful of not um, for, de no dar por sentado, right? That you know what we studied in the first module, okay? Así que gracias por decirme porque así vamos a, a tener el cuidado de verlo así como con más detalle, ¿verdad? Para no okay. saltar y así tengan el contexto, ¿verdad? Ok, okay. Y Sí, un, solo una pregunta. El enlace que nos envió es, eh, es como abierto esa, esa aplicación, como para uno escuchar más audio y... Sí, es, es abierto. Está en el internet. You can find it out. You can look it up. Uh -huh. El nombre es Randall's. Randall's ESL, creo que se llama. Randall's ESL. Es buenísimo. Es un, he's a very good teacher. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, yo en la parte esa del audio de los números tuve uh -huh. siete, siete de diez, ¿verdad? Pero ah, okay. a la parte del listening como 16 en, en o oh, no sé, 15 en 5, no, 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 no recuerdo exactamente. Uh -huh. Pero es 60 y 16, como que okay. son, o, o 13, 30, entonces son como bastante parecidos. Bueno, uh, ya, okay. menos ahorita. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Uh, for example, we had uh fifteen thirty, right? Fifteen thirty, que serían quince treinta, right? And mm -hmm. twenty two eighteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, los que les más les cuesta siento yo es cuando son eh, los de las decenas que serían 14, 15, 16, right? Y sería 40, 50 y 60, yeah? To, to make the difference between of those, what you have to think about is, for example, I'm going to show you here in the board, okay, in the board for you to have this um, more clear, I think, para como un tip, right? Okay. For example, when you are Mm. Uh, 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 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
and nine ten. Okay. El acento o la mayor fuerza de voz cuando usted lo pronuncia. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. 19. 13. Uh -huh. La mayor fuerza de voz iría acá. Ok. Ahora si sí, ponemos. Um, 30. 40. 50. 60. Ok. Etc. Uh, here we have to say it like this. 30. La mayor fuerza de voz iría acá. I'm sorry, aquí. Para que mm -hmm. encuentre la diferencia cuando lo escucha. For example, here is 13 and here is 30. 30. Mm -hmm. En la rapidez, en la rapidez, eh, lo que tiene que ubicar es la letra N. ¿Ok? En la rapidez, porque a veces se oye 13. Yeah, 13. Y no se oye el, el, el acento acá, pero el acento va al final. For example, this one. For 10. Ok. 14. 15. And here sería 40. Yeah. 40. 14. 40. 14. Yeah. Ahí estaría la diferencia para cuando usted escuche. Los dos números, right? For example, if I say, well, I'm going to add another here. I said, it's 40, uh, it's 14 dollars and 40 cents. 14, 40, 14, 40, right? And if I say it in a different way, for example, uh, it's another one, 40, 14, yeah? 14, 40 and 4014. ¿Ve la gran diferencia en el, la pronunciación? Entonces es lo que tiene que fijarse a la hora de escuchar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí, bueno, cuando usted lo explica, sí se oye bien claro, pero ya como una conversación normal, ya es un poquito mm -hmm. más, como, como se dice, en la rapidez uno tiene que identificar la N, ¿verdad? Para mm -hmm. verla arriba de la decena. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a... Voy a escuchar uh -huh. más audios para practicar eh, esa parte del listening. Ok, ok. Ok, do you have any other question? Mm, right now, I don't have. Ok, any then. Ok, then. Well, it's my pleasure. So let us meet tomorrow. Ok. Ok, bye bye. Then have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.